Chicago has just hired Elon Musk and the Boring Company to dig a tunnel connecting downtown Chicago with O'Hare. The project expects to trim the time down to get from O'Hare to the city to 12 minutes. Now, if you've traveled from O'Hare to the city, that's pretty quick. That's about a third as fast as most other forms of transit. The city will resurrect the failed project by Mayor Daley, previous administration, called Block 37 to be used as the hub for this connection. Interestingly enough, 20,000 people a day travel from O'Hare to the business section of the city, so there's clearly enough people for this to work. Elon Musk and the Boring Company has promised to keep the investment 100% private funded. There are many people in the city who do not believe this for various reasons, mainly due to the corruption within the city. So we're going to wait and see whether or not it will be privately funded. But Elon Musk's past record shows that he does not generally pull or get a lot of funding from public funding. More than anything else, he gets it from private funding, which is respectable in this climate. He also claims that the transportation will be cheaper than a taxi or other form of ride sharing. So anyone in Lyft or Uber that's driving this path, good luck. You have a limited amount of time. This will make sense as well as the taxi drivers who are already on their last leg due to the competition of the Lyft and Uber drivers. The plan as submitted is very similar to a plan that he submitted in LA for, as you may guess, more transportation tunnels. What's my take on this? I love this. I'm personally a huge fan of Elon Musk and what he's trying to accomplish. I think that the idea that you have one guy who is generating solar energy, generating the process to store solar energy via batteries, the solar cars that he's building in the entire Tesla lineup, as well as getting us to Mars. All things are great, and I wish that it didn't take a single guy to do this and we can just do this many years ago, but that's not how our government works. We're too busy giving out massive subsidies to every corporation that'll pay a lobbyist enough money to go talk to a congressman. Would I love to have this in the city? Yeah, I think this is great. I think in, in take away the context of what I'm gonna get to in a second, I think this project's great. I'm all for anything that the city does or any city in the US to modernize itself. We're falling so far behind China. I'll take anything at this point. And if it's from Elon, and it's going to do this, I'll take it. This is great. What are some things that we could look forward to this that haven't been discussed in the project? Well, I'm assuming that we're going to drop the amount of congestion that it takes to get from O'Hare to the city because fewer people will be there. Now, what are some downsides that we can expect from this? It's also going to take away jobs from taxi services or people uh, that do Uber or other services because they're not going to have as many customers anymore. Because why would you pay someone you know, 30, 40 bucks to drive you to the city in 30, 40 minutes when you can pay 25 bucks to get pulled in in half that time, in a quarter that time. It's also a safe assumption that the area around block 37 where the daily project has sit in ruins for the past couple of years will increase in value and things of that will happen. So I'm excited to see this happen. I'm all for updating the technology of the country. We need it. If anything else, driving here today I had to dodge a dozen potholes. So I'm glad that at least for part of the city, even though it's going to be mainly for the you know wealthier people, this is put in place. I'm all for future tech. We need to be in the era of great projects. This is something that kind of follows that line. Whereas now we're just fighting each other over petty differences and trying to profit off the past rather than investing in the future. Chicago needs to invest in its citizens, and this is a project that I think follows those lines. We're going to see what happens. I'm looking forward to this. We'll try and get a, um, you know, a ride or something there, a film that once it's up, but I don't think that'll be for a number of years. So, guys, I'll see you tomorrow.